हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू प्लस टू थर्मल साइक्लोडिशन ऑफ किटीन्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द कंपाउंड व्हिच हैज फार्मूला लाइक दिस इज कॉल्ड एज किटीन दिस इज किटीन we can draw a structure of ketene like this this is our ketene right thermal cycloaddition of two alkene is not possible due to binding anti binding interaction at one end let us see how suppose this is homo of one alkene and this is lumo of one alkene so what happens there is bonding interaction and there is and anti bonding interaction we can say that at one end there is bonding interaction and at other end there is anti bonding interaction because in this case these two lobes have different signs so there is anti bonding interaction so thermal cycloaddition of two ketene uh, two alkenes is not possible due to binding anti bonding interactions at one end 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 cycloaddition are photochemical but there is exception in case of some reactions like ketenes and chloro sulfonyl isocyanate right generally 2 plus 2 cycloadditions are photochemical why 2 plus 2 cycloadditions are not thermal i told you already so 2 plus 2 cycloadditions are photochemical but there is exception in case of ketenes in case of ketenes and other reactions like chlorosulfonyl isocyanate let us see how this is 2+2 cycloaddition of ketenes this is one alkene it reacts with ketene this is our ketene right as i already told you 2+2 cycloaddition of ketene is thermal so what happens this is ketene so central carbon atom in ketene is electrophile in this case this alkene acts as diene and this ketene acts as dienophile right now this electron shift to this side and this electron shift to this side so what happens we get this product this is cyclobutanone
right this is ethene and uh, this is uh, ketene when ethene reacts with ketene thermally we get cyclobutanium right so we take another example let us take example of other alkene with the chlorosulfonyl isocyanate this is chlorosulfonyl isocyanate when it reacts with alkene same is the case as we saw in ketenes this reaction is also thermal and this is uh, dienophil this alkene is diene uh, alkene act as diene and this uh, chlorosulfonyl isocyanate act as dienophil so what happens these electrons shift to this side these shift to this side and we get this product this is beta lactam in ketene this carbon is sp2 hybridized and this carbon is sp hybridized this oxygen is sp2 hybridized right we can draw uh, unhybridized p orbitals like this right now question arise why ketene show 2 plus 2 thermal cyclodition and why 4 plus 4, uh, 2 cyclodition of ketenes is not possible these are two questions why ketene show 2 plus 2 thermal cyclodition and why there is no 4 plus 2 cyclodition of ketenes so don't skip video i will tell these one by one if one alkene turns at 90 degree to the other there is a way in which homo of one alkene might bond at both ends of luno of other alkene first we turn one alkene that is homo to 90 degree then we add lumo of other alkene at top of homo and 90 degree so that there is bonding or left at both ends for clarity we put one p orbital of lumo to the right angle of homo so that both orbitals of homo interact right let us see how right now what happens this is homo
and this is pneumo for clarity we draw this orbital like this this orbital is 90 degree to this homo right this p orbital is 90 degree to this homo now let us see binding and anti-binding interactions so two same signs binding interaction two same signs bonding interaction two same signs bonding interaction two same signs this is also bonding interaction now these two lobes have different sign so this is anti-bonding interaction and these two lobes also have different signs so this is also anti-binding interaction so there are four binding interactions and two anti-binding interactions so two anti-binding interactions cancel two binding interactions and we have two binding interactions left right in this case there are four binding interactions you can see and two anti-binding interactions two binding interactions cancel two anti-binding interactions so we get two binding interactions so that is why two plus two thermal cycloaddition of ketene is possible or you can say that why 2 plus 2 thermal cyclo addition of ketene is possible that is ketene show 2 plus 2 thermal cyclo addition right now we discuss why there is no 4 plus 2 cyclo addition of ketenes so let us see 4 plus 2 cyclo addition of ketene is not possible. Why? Let us see in this case. This is home of beta diene. Now let us find out how many bonding interactions and anti bonding interactions are there. First of all, two uh, different signs anti bonding interaction, different signs anti bonding interactions and different signs anti-bonding interactions right now let us see how many bonding interactions are these same sign this is bonding interaction same sign this is also bonding interaction and same sign bonding interaction so in case of beta day in with ketene, there are three bonding interactions and three anti-bonding interactions. So we have zero bonding interaction in this case because three bonding interaction cancel three bonding and anti-bonding interactions. So we don't have any bonding interaction in case of the reaction of betadiene with ketene. So, 4 plus 2 cycloaddition of ketene is not possible because in this case there are three bonding interactions and three anti bonding interactions. These bonding interactions cancel anti bonding interactions and the net bonding interaction is zero so 4 plus 2 cycloaddition of ketene is not there now there is a reaction this is dichloroacetyl chloride first it react with tertiary amine then what is a now a reacts with cyclopentadiene this is cyclopentadiene and we get a b the final product 
so what are a and b let us discuss here so when dichloroacetyl chloride react with tertiolamine what happens you know that tertiolamine is a base so what the work of base base always remove hydrogen so base attack here these uh, this bond shift to this side because hydrogen is removed now these electrons shift to this position and we get this intermediate now what happens to stabilize charge this uh, means these electrons shift to this side and this chlorine is removed right we get we get ketene now ketene react with cyclopentadiene right and we get this final product